Standard 2 is focused on content pedagogy, where candidates develop as reflective practitioners able to demonstrate effective implementation of educational technologies and processes based on contemporary content and pedagogy. In EdTech 506, I created a final project website with activities that takes learners through multiple lessons designed to teach them about conservation of energy largely through self-rated learning. The lessons are driven by instructional messages provided by graphics that I designed, all of which are intended to ma minimize the cognitive load placed on the learner and thus maximize available cognitive processing of information for the synthesis of knowledge. In EdTech 541, I developed an internet-enriched lesson the activities contained in the lesson use a variety of educational technologies to facilitate a flipped classroom approach for learning about wave mechanics and physics. The resources in these lessons demonstrate idealizations of wave phenomena that are often difficult to observe in the laboratory setting and thus enhance in-class investigations of wave mechanics. In the process of completing these lessons, learners are required to apply their knowledge to new contexts and applications of the activity objectives. In EdTech 501, I demonstrated my ability to apply inquiry processes to assess and evaluate the implementation of educational technologies by completing a formal technology evaluation and summary of the school where I currently teach. I conducted research and met with several stakeholders to complete the evaluation, and in the process I learned a lot about the immense amount of planning, preparation, funding, and resources involved in developing a comprehensive technology plan. In EdTech 533, I started my own YouTube channel and curated videos to create a playlist lesson. This is done to provide a supportive learning community and create a flexible and diverse learning environment. The playlist lesson can be utilized to foster a flipped classroom approach and also creates a flexible means of remediation to support learners who may struggle with content. To emphasize the diversity of our society as a multicultural community, in EdTech 501, I conducted research and produced a presentation on how my own district and professional learning community addresses digital inequality within our community of learners. Digital inequality arises any time learners are somehow restricted or limited from accessing information and resources electronically. I believe educators have an ethical responsibility to select or design curriculum materials that all learners can access.